This is a quick tutorial on how to do some effects in Photoshop. On the left side we have the original image and on the right side we have an image after it's been cut out. In order to cut out an image we're going to use the polygon of lasso tool from the toolbar. Some people will use the magic wand and this is incorrect. We want a nice clean cut edge without any white areas around the image. Using the tool we're going to click around the edge of the image that we don't want on the picture and we'll click repeatedly tracing the image. Once it's selected, you'll hit delete on your keyboard and it'll get rid of what you don't want in the picture. Now we're going to add a new layer underneath the original image so that we can see the cuts and make sure there's no white areas or other areas that need to be cut out. You'll see that the layer with the picture is above a blue color layer. I use a bright color so we can see the edges and make sure it's everything's cut out the way we want it. Now we're going to insert another layer and we're just going to put a picture behind the original picture. This can be anything you want, fire or any kind of scenery, just to change the, the overall image of the picture itself. You'll see on the layers palette that the fire is underneath the original picture. You can move layers up and down by grabbing the layer and, and dragging it. Now from the layers palette we're going to choose an effect for the layer. We're going to choose screen. You can see that there's several options to choose from. Screen is good when you're layering images on top of each other. You'll notice when we did this that the image turned to white. Now we have like a white fire. You can play with various things on the layers to get different effects. Now we're going to use the eraser tool. We're going to go over the edges that we don't want to make a, a nice blend in the image. Once we select the eraser, we want a very large er eraser so that it gets a nice soft cut. We don't want it a small a small one because then it won't cut right. Notice the eraser. I put it on the very edge, and I'm just going to softly get rid of that. Notice we're on the layer that we're erasing. Now we've just put another picture under the fire by doing a new layer. You can see that the fire shows through on the original layer. This is the layers palette and you'll see how there's an image under the fire and we've simply duplicated the fire layer to make it a little brighter. You can duplicate a layer simply by clicking on it and saying duplicate. Once you learn to work with layers you can do all kinds of effects in Photoshop. These are some of the works that I've done throughout the years for various clients.